Hey guys, it is Arika Misha. Uh, just coming to you, just prepping for dinner. I have some chicken wings here. I have cleaned them all up. So I am getting ready to season them. Uh, and it is the drumsticks and flats. So let me go over here to my seasons um, to let you know what seasons I'm using for the chicken. Um, I've got my canola oil, my Publix canola oil, my Old Faithful. I always spray uh, my meat with a little oil just so it can, you know, keep the seasons and stuff on it. Um, also helps brown your meat. All right, and I have my blackened pepper. I always use the ground pepper. And I have my parsley's, of course. Y'all know I love my parsley's. Um, I have lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. I have a sazon. Sazon. Hope that's how you say it. I have paprika. I have chicken. Hello, duh. Chicken. Season for chicken. <laughs> All right. And I have my salt. And I have my oil bay garlic herb. I like using this oil bay um, on my chicken. Sometimes I use the oil bay, the blackened oil bay too. I'm telling you guys, it's not just for seafood. It's for other meats. You can use it for other meats too and it makes them taste really good. And I use this combination for my chicken. This is what I use. These are all the seasons I use for my chicken. I love this combination. Chicken wings taste so good. So those are all my seasons that I use for the chicken wings guys. So I'll go ahead and um, get all the seasons on the chicken wings and I'll be back to show you guys how I do that. Okay guys, I am back. I have put all my seasons on my chicken. I know that looks like a lot, but it's not. Um, I just put all the seasons on the top. I'm gonna go ahead and shake it up. Let me get my top on. And I just shake it up so that the season gets all over the chicken. Shake, 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 shake. And I like to use a clear container so that I can see, see how much, you know, what's going on with the seasons and making sure they're getting spread it all over the place. Make sure my top's on real good. I'll turn it upside down. You guys get the idea. some this is how I season my chicken just doing what I do guys Whew. shake 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 make sure every piece gets seasoned good so I'm shaking for about a good five minutes Make sure you're using a big enough bowl so that the chicken can, you know, be able to get all the seasons on it. If you use too small of a bowl, then it's hard for everything to get seasoned. So, almost finished. Whew. All right. Okay. All right. Look. So, everything looks nice and seasoned. After we've done all our shake, shake, shake. I'll bring it in so you guys can see like I always do for you. See how every piece is all nicely, evenly seasoned. Yep. That's how I season my chicken wings. I okay guys, I am back. I've got my chicken wings out. And as you can see, they're seasoned. They've been marinating all day. So what I am about to do, I'm going ahead and adding my flour. Now the way I do it, sometimes I do it this way. Most of the time I do it this way because it's quicker. Remember, there's less time as possible in the kitchen. So I add my flour. I add my flour to my chicken wings. They're already seasoned. They've been marinating. I add my flour, my top on, and shake it up. Make sure our top is on nice and tight. And shake them up. Shake them up. Make sure they get all nice and coated with that flour. Upside down, however we need to do it. 
So make sure they nice and coated. And you can look and see. You can kind of look and see that we need a little bit more flour. So I'm going to go ahead and add some more flour. We need a little bit more flour. Let's put one more spoonful in there. Make sure everybody getting they, they share of flour. A little bit more. Because we want to make sure they get nicely coated. Now, I do the egg wash sometimes. You know, where you dip them in the egg, dip them in the flour. I do that sometimes too. But most of the time, I'm doing it this quick, easy way. How we looking? All right. Looks like we got everybody nicely coated. I don't overflower. Right? You don't want to overflower. Just enough to get them brown and crisp. So everybody looks good. Nicely coated. I do want to add a little bit more flour. So I'll do one more spoon of flour. Let's get a little bit more flour on them. Not too much, not too much, but we do want them to be nicely coated. Let's get our top of that on here. So. Shaking, 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 whole lot of shaking. all that shaking all right and they look good and they are nicely coated with flour you guys can see they are all covered in flour you can see they're all covered in flour nicely covered so we can put our flour away and let's get ready to get them fried up I'll be back. Okay, guys, we are back, and I have my grease and my Gotham. Y'all know it's Gotham for me, sis. And my Gotham pan. And I've got my grease all nice and heated up. It is ready to receive the chicken wings. And I've got my chicken wings right here. I'm gonna go ahead and drop them. Now, I don't know. I like cooking the all flats first and then cooking the drumstick part first. That's just how I like doing it. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my flats first. And as you can see how they look, they are nicely coated on both sides with flour, guys. Nicely coated and you can still see all the seasons and the goodness in there. Just going to go ahead and drop it in there. Let's get to frying. Now, you don't want to over, overcrowd your, your, your oil. And I use canola oil. I like using canola oil. I always use canola oil. So, you'll see me using canola oil. They say it's healthier. So, you know, whatever. Alright, so I don't really have that many flats. So, I've already got all my flats in there. Not many flats in this package. So, I'll go ahead and get a couple of drums. Dropped in there. Once again, remember, you don't want to overcrowd your oil. Don't want to overcrowd it. So, let me see. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, looks like. And I use this. This is what I use, guys. They're, they're just small chicken, little drum, little chicken wings. They're not huge. So, I use this. This is what I use. I got this from the Dollar Tree. So. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got seven pieces of chicken in there. 
I'm gonna go ahead and drop one more, but I'll make sure it's not that big. Oh, I found another flat down there buried, so let me get that other flat in there. Yep, so got that in there. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more pieces left, and that'll be the second batch. That's how we will do that. And like I said, guys, you don't want to you don't want to overcrowd your oil. Then you start getting flower pieces all in your oil, and you gotta make sure your oil is nice and hot. And I cook mine's on a eh, medium high heat. Cause you know you want your grease to stay hot so it can fry your food. So, all right, I've got three, four, five, six. Seven. All right, I've got four five flats and three drums in here so that's the first batch and then i have seven drums left that'll be my second batch you just leave them alone let them fry you ain't got to babysit them well you know you do got to stay where you're frying the chicken at you do got to stay by your stove but you don't have to keep bothering them and nope just just let them fry And then you just kind of check the bottom of your chicken to see, you know, how it's looking under there. And then you go ahead and you just, let me make sure you guys can see real good. And then you just go ahead and turn them over, flip them over. Let you guys see. Let me go ahead and let you guys see in there. Now y'all know that's hot grease. I can't take y'all too far in, but let me use my zoom. I can use my zoom. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Look at that zoom. That zoom putting y'all right in the grease. <laughs> y'all better be careful in that hot grease. Be careful that it's hot. It's hot in there. Oh man. That zoom. I learned how to use the zoom y'all. I'm going to be zooming y'all into some places. I'm so happy I'm learning how to use my camera better. Better and better. That's the goal, getting better. So, yep, that's how it's looking. Uh-oh, didn't go too far. You back y'all out. Go ahead and sit y'all back over here. So y'all can see how, it's, how it is going. Yes. See how it is going in there. Y'all can see. Y'all can see real good. And that's how it's looking. And you know what, guys? I'm not going to sit here and let you guys just watch the chicken fry. So, that's how it's looking while it's frying. And you know what? I will be back once I get them flipped over. So you guys can see that. I'll be back, guys. Okay, guys. I am back. Just came to flip the chicken over. And that's it. I just take my little... My little thingamabob here. I call it thingamabob because I don't know what this is. Uh, I don't know what the name for it is. I just call it my little thingamabob. I just flipped all the chicken over. You see how it looks all nice and brown that side? That's how you know. Flip that side over. Get everybody all flipped over. Get them brown on the other side over there. Everybody get all brown. Looking good. Okay, so that's how everybody is looking in the fryer. Looking all good. Looks delicious. Take you guys in real quick. Yep, that's how it's looking, guys. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Y'all in the grease. Y'all frying with the chicken. Yep, that's how it's looking, guys. And this is my setup over here. This is what I do. I use my little strainer, you know. And um, I've got my plate under there with napkins to catch the grease. And I put my chicken in here. I don't put my chicken on the napkin because it gets it gets soggy. Makes your chicken soggy. So I just put, after I take the chicken out, you guys will see, I just put it right in here. 
Helps keep it crispy. Check on this chicken. Make sure everything is going good over here. All right. Everything's looking good. Everything's looking great. So I'll be back, guys. Looking good. Okay, guys, I just came back and flipped the chicken again. That would be the last time I flip it. I usually just flip it over once or twice. And um, I'll give them a few more minutes, and I'm going to go ahead. And by the time I come back, I should be taking these out. Let me check them and see. Stay ready. Once they get brown all over, I just kind of toss them around a little bit, especially those flats. Just kind of toss those around a little bit there. Yep, get those tossed around. And as you can see, they're nice and brown. They're almost done. So, I'm going to give them another about two minutes. Two minutes, and I'll go ahead and get them out. And see with this, it's so easy to get them lifted up and taken out. See, they just pick it, pick it right on up. Scoop right under it and pick it right on up. That's why I love using this little thing on my bob here. It's some kind of strainer spoon. I don't know what it is, but... I call it a thing, my Bob, y'all. That's what it is. All right, I'll be back when I'm taking them out. Okay, guys, I am back to go ahead and get these out of the grease. As you can see, as I lift them, they look delicious. Nice and brown. They look delicious. It not take long. I mean, they went in here, what, five minutes? So, yeah, Let's go ahead and get those out. Move my over here. Go ahead and get those flats out first. You guys a close look. Mm, 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 mm. Yep, and I just put them over here, drop them over there. Get those other flats out. See my little thing, my bob just scoops them right up. Scoop them right on up. Drop them over there. Scoop them out. Look at that, guys. Look at that. And you can see the seasons. That's why you don't want to overflower it. You don't want to overflower it. Right over there. Put that right on up. Go ahead and give you guys a bite. Well, well it's fresh off the grease, so you might not want to bite it, but look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Delicious. The girls love my fried chicken. Look at that. Look at that fried chicken. Look at it. Mm-hmm. I'll give you sit you guys over here, give you a minute to look at that chicken. Give you guys a get me. Oh goodness. And guys, I got my side door opened over there so I can hear the traffic. I love to hear the traffic. I love to hear it, guys. So let me go ahead and put that up so you guys can look at that chicken. While well, I go ahead and get that second batch in. You get the second batch of chicken while this grease is nice and hot and ready. Yes. I am ready to eat. Nothing like the smell of fried chicken. And nothing like it. Mm -mm -mm. Grease all nice and hot. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, like I said, I'm always in the kitchen cooking, so, I mean, I said this wasn't going to be a cooking channel, but I said, you know what, you're, you're, since I'm always in the kitchen, you might as well film it. You're just showing them how you do it. You never know how you can help somebody, so you know what, it is what it is. It is what it is. 
Okay, guys, now that I got my camera clean off, maybe I'll just stay back. And I'll just use my Zoom. But, yep, I just put the second batch in to get done. Grease nice and hot. And I got the chicken. Got it on one side. So, I'm going to get that second batch down. Look at that, guys. Take you guys in. Look at that. Do you see that? I'm, I'm taking y'all in. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see this fried chicken? I know y'all see that fried chicken. Mm. It tastes good too. Y'all hear me? Yes, I am eating a piece. The cook always eats first. Remember that. <laughs> That's why I tell my kids. Cook always eats first. Because I'm cooking. I'm t I gotta taste it. Make sure it tastes good. See if I need to add anything. Anyway. Get my spoon here. Get these flipped over. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to flip this hot chicken and hold this camera at the same time. Y'all gonna get a good look at what I'm doing. I just take my little my little thing of my bob here, and I just it's so easy to cook these cook my chicken with this. It just flips it right on over, right on over. So easy. Flips everybody over. There we go. Everybody flipped over there. Second batch, seven pieces. And then second batch, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. One, two, three, four. Oh, no, that's eight pieces. Extra piece in there on me. Good. All right. Chicken frying up, guys. Frying up. It is frying, looking good. All right, y'all know I'll be back when this second batch gets done. And I'm also cooking french fries, guys. Y'all get to see that, too. All right, bye. Okay, guys, getting ready to take that second batch out. They are ready. Look at that. They are ready, guys. Taking them out. Getting over there with our other one. Getting them out. Definitely don't want to over fry your chicken. Don't want to over fry your chicken. It just depends on how you like it. Some people like them extra crispy, extra fried, extra hard. Me, I like them medium. The girls like them medium too, so. You guys see that? Looking a little questionable, but it is a piece of chicken, y'all. All right, and you guys see the chicken all nice and fried. Nice and fried, guys. Looks delicious, and it is good. My fried chicken is the best. Well, one of the best, I'll say that. So, yep, got that done. Now, what I'm gonna do. Now that I got my chicken in there, I'm gonna go ahead and drop my fries. Yep, I use the same grease. I'm gonna hurt nothing. Same grease that I fried your chicken in. Put my fries in there. The grease is nice and hot and ready. So I drop my fries in there. Don't wanna overcrowd your grease. Don't want to overcrowd the grease with the fries either. So, got this first batch in. Probably cook two batches of fries for me and the girl. Put a little bit more in there. A little bit more. Alright. And fries, you definitely don't want to mess with the fries. Just put them in the grease and leave them alone. Put them in the grease and leave them alone, guys. You don't want to be stirring the fries and they get all broken up so I just leave my fries alone and once they start getting a little brown then that's when I just start flip them you know just kind of toss them around and let them finish browning on the other side and get brown all around and that's it we'll be back to check on those fries guys okay guys our fries are looking a little brown 
toss them around. See, they are already brown. You don't don't want to mess with them. But when you first put them in, because they're frozen, you gotta kind of move them around so they don't stick together. But once you do that, just leave them alone and let them just fry themselves. Look at that. Look at those fries. Mmm, 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 -mm, guys. Nice and golden brown. Nice and golden brown. And that, see, the grease is already hot from frying the chicken. So your grease is already hot. So just throw the fries in after I cook the chicken. I just threw the fries in. My grease is already nice and hot, ready to cook the next thing. And that's it. Pick up another scoop for you guys. Look at that. Nice and golden brown. They ready. They ready to come out. Don't want to over fry your fries. So, let me go ahead. I'm scooping them out. Scoop them out. I've already made space next to the chicken. See, I've made space next to the chicken. Just drop them right in there. Using the same thing. The same thing my chicken is in. That's where I'm dropping it. See, this way your fries aren't soggy either. I don't want your fries to be soggy. So, and see, using my little thingamabob scooper thing here. Y'all yeah, don't laugh at me for calling it a thingamabob. I don't really see people using this on YouTube, so I don't know what it's called. It looks like a, it's like a spatula, a circle spatula with holes in it. I don't know what it's called, y'all, but I use it. All right, that's the first batch of fries. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the second batch in. Y'all know that grease hot. That grease is hot. It's ready. It's ready. Oh, oh boy. Watch it. Okay. You, I've been burnt in the kitchen before. Hey, everybody gets burnt when they cook. You don't get burnt all the time, man. I don't, I don't think that. I think I've been burnt once or twice. Yeah, you ain't a real cook if you ain't been burnt. We've all been burnt once or twice. Whether it's grease popping up, hot water, something I'm popped on you and burnt. And see how the fries just kind of sit to the bottom? They just sit to the bottom. Once they start getting good and done, they start floating anyway. So that lets you know. Let's check those fries out, guys. Look at them. Look at those fries. Don't they look delicious? Let me taste one. I'm going to taste one for y'all. Let me taste this one. Let me taste this one for y'all. Look at it. Mm. Ooh, my heart. Oh, my God. It tastes a little Mm, 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 mm. Is it good, y'all? Fresh. Mm. Sitting next to that fried chicken. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm taking y'all in. Don't worry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Taking y'all in. Now y'all know what I'm going to do now that I've pulled those fries out. I'm going to get my... Oh, my fry season. If I can find it. There it is. My old faithful. Season for my fries. That is French fry season, supreme tradition, and I got this from the Dollar Tree. Y'all can sleep on the Dollar Tree if y'all want to. I won't. I just sprinkle a little of that in there on those fries. Kind of toss it around there. Toss it around so everybody gets some. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. When they fresh out the grease, that's when you throw your season on them. When they fresh out the grease. Yes. And when I get that second batch done, we'll go ahead and get them seasoned too. So yeah, just toss it around. So everybody getting some. Everybody getting some. Let me see how they taste now that I put that season on them. Uh-oh. Sorry, y'all. All right. 
Mmm, they taste good. Oh, y'all, here's some fries. Mmm, good, y'all. Y'all better get y'all some for y'all french fries. Don't sleep on the Dollar Tree. All right, guys. I'll be back when that second batch of fries comes out. Okay, guys. Taking the second batch of fries out. They are done, done, done. They are done. They are ready to come out. Ready. Let's get them out. I've already cut my my um, stove off. Mm mm mm. Look at that. They are ready. Getting them out. See how my little, my little spoon thing just gets them up, snatches everything up. I got this from the Dollar Tree, y'all. I love this cooking. I love cooking with this. I do. I love cooking with it. Only a dollar. Can't beat that. Only a dollar. Need nothing fancy. Just trying to pick the fries up. I don't need a $20 spoon to pick up my fries. Just a dollar is good enough for me. Good enough for me. So, there we have it, guys. Dinner is all ready. That is fried chicken wings and french fries. Everything's all done, guys. Took me about, took some chicken about 10, 15 minutes. I say 20 with both batches. And the fries only took about 15 minutes for both batches. So, that's it, guys. Quick wings, quick fries, quick dinner. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to watch me. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Arika Misha. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.